Hey you! I'm going to help you setting up your keybinds in Fudu today. First off, what you're going to do is to open up the Fudu options panel. You can do it two different ways. One is typing the chat command slash forward type Fudu space opt hit enter. And the other way is using the minimap icon. The first thing that you want to do is um, going to make a profile for your key layout per spec, preferably. So you go, we go to tools at the bottom and then at the right, you check key layouts. Then you can type your key layout name that you want to set this to in the blue bar. So uh, you type the name that you want to give it. You click on save as. Then you choose the spec that belongs to it. Spec 1 is the top spec when you open your um, talent uh, bar and spec 2 is the second. So you select spec 1 and you save as again. Now I get the warning that it already exists. I don't want to overwrite it obviously, but with you it should get a uh, save as and then it's done. If you want to load a key layout that you already have done. You can select it from the drop down list uh, there. And then it should be here somewhere. Yeah, there. And then you click apply. I hope this works. Otherwise it's gone and I have to do it again. Spec, save as, yeah. Okay, then we are done with that. And then you go to spells. Now here is where you configure all the keybinds uh, for your for the abilities that uh, your uh, character has. The first one is mouse, which means that you can configure all the mouse buttons that you have uh, on your mouse. The modifier key uh, means that none is that when you hit the left button, it's going to do the ability that you put here on the left button. If you choose, if you select modifier shift when this is red and you type uh, the ability here, you have to uh, push shift and then a left button of your mouse to do the ability that you have typed in there. So let's go to none. Uh, it will automatically select your uh, spells already in it, but you can change it to whatever you want to set it to, obviously. It's very, very simple. If you want to change the spell, you simply click the ability uh, under the button that you want to assign it to. So healing wave. And when it turns white, it means that you have typed it correctly. If it stays grayed out, you have made a spelling um, error or uh, a wrong ability name. You can also use macros in Voodoo. You first have to make a macro. I already have opened up uh, my macro pane. Here is a, a, a macro that's for my earth shield, but I'm going to show you for uh, purify. Because when you are a healer and you want to dispel someone, you don't want to usually finish your healing cast because you want to dispel as fast as possible. So first you make a macro. A stop casting macro so that slash forward stop casting and then on the next line you type cast and then be sure that you type target is voodoo and then the dispel ability of your specific char then you hit save you already named it and then you're going to type the name of the macro under the key bind that you want to assign it to so i have uh I have it on the Alt modifier left button, so you type in Purify and it will automatically detect that it's a macro. So now you can just uh, use this keybind on a player in Fudu and it will stop casting what you were doing and cast Purify instead, in my case, on my Rest of Shaman. Now the normal commands you also can use. so. Target, open menu, um, drop down list, assist, focus, that kind of stuff. So that's really awesome. After you have done 
all this and you feel that you are finished, you click on OK to save all the changes that you have made. Now, if you are using a, a Naga mouse or you prefer to use the keyboard, then you need to go to Keys Local in the menu to the right. It's really easy. All you have to do is click on Add. Then you are going to type in the ability that you want to keybind. So, Healing Wave again. And then it says Not Bound yet. You click on Not Bound and then it starts to flash. Then you use the keybind that you want to use with it. And it's done. Now when you hover over the name and I hit the E button. Oh, I have to click on OK first. Hit the E button and it does a healing wave. It's really nice, really easy. Okay, let's go back. If you think that you have done it wrong and you want to remove it, you simply click on the remove and the way it is. So this is how you set up all your keybinds in Fudo. It's really easy. The Keys Global is for if you want to use the standard uh, keybind setup for World of Warcraft, but I doubt if anyone is using it. But it's this is here where you uh, can do that. Okay, under miscellaneous. Um, here you could enable trinkets and your gloves if you are an engineer for instance, and um, I am not on my shaman, but on my uh, priest I am, for instance, and then I have gloves enabled. But this will do, uh, when you are in combat, it will automatically trigger your gloves as soon as they are come off cooldown, uh, on with as soon as you use a healing ability. You can also uh, add instant spells uh, here that you want to trigger before any healing spell that you do, um, for instance, uh, the legendary ring you could do, but then it would uh, trigger on any healing spell that you do. So that's not preferable, but that is the idea what it does. Now here you have auto trigger for uh, the trinkets that you have. Uh, enable them so it will automatically trigger trinkets that have a proc um, with spells that you use on Fudu. If you also want to target the person that you are healing, you enable target here and then it will also uh, target anytime. I don't use it because I usually have the boss targeted and I don't want to switch targets, but that's how you do it here. Stop cast is for if you want to switch healing spell. Um, I have it uh, disabled because it's uh, annoying because you can uh, then... Uh, cut off your own healing spells, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you what it does. So as soon as you have stop casts enabled and uh, you are casting a healing wave and you want to do chain heal instead, you can uh, spam it and then it will change to the spell that you are doing instead of finishing it. So that is what it does. Like I said, I don't use it. Smart cast is for when you are out of combat and people are dead, then any key that you use on that person in Fudo will automatically start to resurrect them. If you are playing on a class that can battle res, it will also, and that is in combat as well, so in combat and out combat, as soon as a person is dead and you touch that person on Fudo with any key, uh, available, it will do a battle res automatically. If you don't want to uh, do this, because obviously you don't want to resurrect uh, just anyone that uh, dies, and trust me, it goes really quick, um, you can set a modifier key. By default, it is set to all, which means um, that any key that you use will trigger the battle res or the resurrect out of combat. And if you want to play safe, you can always set a modifier key uh, to it so you don't accidentally battle rest people in combat that you didn't want to do battle rest. If you rather use a separate keybind, obviously, obviously then disable battle rest and you're fine. Cleans, I have it uh, disabled, but if you enable this, it will automatically um, dispel people out of combat 
with any key that you um, use on them again uh, unless you have set a modifier key so that's it that's basically it so i hope um, this made sense and it will help you set up your photo and then i'll uh, wish you a lot of fun in world of warcraft cheers people see you around bye bye